Welcome everyone to today's CSIA partner webinar. My name is Colin Hammond and I will be your host today. For those of you who are unfamiliar with CSIA, we are a global nonprofit professional association with over 500 member companies in 40 countries. Our mission is to advance the practice of control system integration to benefit our members and their clients. Our vision is to ensure that manufacturing and process industries everywhere have access to low risk, safe and successful application of automation technology. CSI membership offers members access to resources needed to attain and exceed business goals. To highlight just a few of our many member benefits, the CSIA Best Practices Manual guides control system integration companies in the setup and running of a solid company. CSIA's Business Insurance Program offers members an excellent insurance program for business owners, subcontractors, and more. The program includes members from all over the world enjoying the peace of mind that comes with CSIA insurance. Clients in all industries are now seeking integrators with a CSIA certification alongside ISO. They recognize CSIA certified integrators commitment to industry standards and business acumen. As a result, being certified can shorten the sales cycle. CSIA Industrial Automation Exchange is the premier automation guide featuring system integrators and suppliers who provide industrial, manufacturing, and process automation solutions. For integrators and suppliers, it's a place to market their expertise. Clients will find white papers, case studies, capabilities, contact information, and engage in conversation directly with CSIA members. And for more information about CSIA, please visit our website or contact us at info at staff.controlsys.org or 847-686-2245. And at this time, I would like to introduce our presenter, Scott Marsick. Scott has over two decades experience successfully transforming diagnostic, technical, and business intelligence products into innovative market leading goods and services. As senior product manager at Epson America, Scott is responsible for developing strategic initiatives to help drive channel growth and end user demand across the industrial robotics product category. Scott holds a BS from the University of California, Santa Cruz, an MS from the University of Southern California, and an MBA from San Francisco State University. And at this time, I would like to pass it over to Scott. Welcome, Scott. Great. Thanks a lot, Colin. Uh, really appreciate uh, you uh, with the introduction and uh, bringing me on to this. Um, let's see. Go ahead and share my screen here. All right. Yeah, no, I, I hope everyone uh, that's on the call had a great, great Labor Day weekend. Um, if uh, you're anything like myself, it was tough getting up this morning. Kind of wished uh, the weekend wasn't over, but uh, here we are and uh, ready to kick off another week. So thanks for thanks for joining us and being a part of this uh, discussion uh, again. Thanks to uh, Colin uh, for the introduction and, and Lisa and everyone over at CSIA. Uh, it's, a, it's a great great organization. Uh, we've really enjoyed the partnership with them and uh, the thought leadership that they uh, that they provide um, us and certainly uh, certainly all of you. So uh, hopefully, as part of this, uh, we continue along that vein of of providing you uh, valued information that you can use in in your business and. Um, helping you to uh, be successful in all your endeavors and, and profitable along the way. So topic of, of, of today's discussion is uh, expanding your business with, with Epson's VT6L all-in-one six-axis robot. Uh, so ease of use at an ultra low cost. And uh, we, we hope you find this information uh, uh, at minimum interesting, uh, at best useful, and uh, if you've got questions and things like that at the end, uh, you'll have contact information and questions you can reach out and uh, we're, uh, we'll get started here. So at a, at a high level, um, it's interesting when I, when I talk to folks about Epson Robots, um, 
you know, certainly in the automation space, people know us, but even, you know, outside of that, people don't always know um, what we, what we do. Um, they think of us as the printer company, you know, Epson's the printer guys. Uh, you got the cool shack commercials, you know, with the eco tank printers and, and all that. And that, and that's certainly core to our business. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that fundamentally under the hood, we are a technology innovator and automation and uh, the components that go into electronics are really core to our foundation. Uh, we build things from the ground up. Uh, so everything we make at Epson starts with, uh, with all the parts and, and we, we do everything, we're fully ver vertically integrated. So we do everything from soup to nuts. And it's, it's, it's a really interesting company from that perspective. Our vision, our corporate vision, uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, and this comes from uh, our executive team in, in Japan, but Epson is, is, is focused on creating a, a new connected age of people, things, and information with efficient, compact, and precise technologies. And as we go through this presentation, you'll see how that really weaves into uh, the VT6L and some of the products that, that we're working on now in ways we're helping you uh, in your business environment. Uh, this is a quote uh, from our former uh, global CEO, currently chairman and director of uh, Seiko Epson in Japan. Um, innovation is, and I had mentioned it before, but innovation is really core to, to what we do. And his quote is that it's this fundamental thought, innovation, uh, that allows Epson to dynamically create, produce, and deliver exciting new products that will make us, Epson, an indispensable company as we strive to change the world. That mantra of innovation has, has led us to become a, um, an innovator and a patent portfolio juggernaut. Um, we've got um, patents across the board with our engineering teams developing all sorts of cool things. So we're number one in inkjet printers, number one in projectors. Um, we're the number one, number seven, uh, Japanese ranking company and number 16 ranking company in terms of patents uh, in the United States. And so it's that technology innovation uh, that starts at the engineer level and works our way up. And we make sure when we develop products that we're leveraging that technology, that innovation, but we're also trying to understand and working um, diligently to understand what the needs are, our customers and our partners. So we take all that innovation and we, we're in 13 major business units. Um, most people know us as the printer guys, uh, but a lot of people don't know we've, we've got a line of augmented reality glasses, uh, wearables, um, large venue projectors, micro devices. Uh, so MEMS accelerometers and uh, uh, processing units are, are core to what we do. What we'll talk about here today, obviously is robots. Um, we're, we're, uh, a leader in the precision automation space. And this is core to our market, not only for our customers, but also for us. We use our robots to, to build our own products. And that's actually how we got started in automation uh, nearly four decades ago, making our wristwatches um, and needing a precise robot to do that. And so where we're at today, we've been in, in robots for, or the automation space for 36 years. Uh, so. Long time, a lot of technology under the hood, a lot of um, thought leadership and things that, that our engineers, our integrators that are here can communi communicate out. Uh, we've become the number one SCARA manufacturer worldwide as well as uh, in the Americas here. So uh, when people look for precision automation, they're looking towards Epson. Uh, to date, globally, uh, we've sold over 100,000 units. So um, a good presence, great awareness, and we're continually pushing the envelope for things that we do using that innovation mantra uh, to build uh, products that are relevant for our customers. Uh, today, across our line, uh, we have a, a pretty diverse uh, lineup of, of products. On the scare side, over 300 models. And so we've got a model for you, regardless of your reach, your payload requirements, et cetera. Uh, we've got a wide range of products uh, that meet different customer needs and applications and precision requirements. On the six axis side, uh, we've got the same. So our C-series uh, 
for uh, uh, high precision, uh, high performance applications. Uh, we came out recently with our N-Series, that's our folding arm design. So that's for small footprint environments, a really novel uh, uh, engineering design uh, to get a uh, six axis robot into an environment where you've got very limited uh, footprint or space requirements. What we'll be talking about today here is, is our VT series, so the VT6L. Uh, so that's our all-in-one ultra-low cost six-axis robot. And in line with the topic for this webinar, expanding your, your business, um, we're going to talk about how this can open up opportunities for you. Opportunities that maybe you haven't been able to go after uh, because of uh, ease of use or cost prohibitiveness of a six-axis robot, et cetera. So um, that's where our focus will be moving forward. So the VT6L all-in-one six-axis robot. So let's go ahead and get started and dive into, into this, this great new model that we, we've got. So, so the VT6L is, is our groundbreaking innovation. And remember, innovation is really that central tenant to what we do here at Epson. And so this is opening up a world of application opportunities due primarily to the incredible price tag on this, as well as its ease of use. And what's great about this is that this is an industrial performance robot. And so you're not conceding performance that you would expect out of a six axis industrial robot. You're getting something that meets your needs for more simple applications, makes it easy to deploy, comes with a great price tag. And so there's a lot of applications out there that do fit in this simple space. Um, but six axis options are just too cost prohibitive. They're just too expensive. And so we're making it simpler with the VT6L. Uh, the VT6L itself, this, so this is a six kilogram payload robot, uh, has a 900 millimeter reach arm, uh, has multiple mounting configurations uh, from ceiling, tabletop, wall, all with one skew. We keep it really simple. Simple is a big focus with this robot keeping it simple. One SKU, you just change the con mounting configuration in Epson RC+. That's our uh, development environment that works with this and all of our other Epson robots. So when we were developing this and we were thinking about what was needed for, for the space and uh, you know, how Epson could make a difference here, um, one of the big customer pain points that came up was total cost of integration and installation. And many customers uh, needed something in this space. Uh, they were looking to um, increase the quality output that they were getting from maybe a manual process, um, you know, tightening on things with, hand, you know, with, with labors or by hand. Um, you've got labor turnover, you've got labor cost increases, uh, you've got the need to increase your output and my current line is insufficient to do that. But it's on the simpler side. It's, it's, it doesn't have all the complexity that maybe I would have with a different application. And so people would look at this environment, this play of, well, simple, and I need to improve these elements that I've got here, and I don't have a solution. And so what the VT6L does is it comes in and it helps address these, helps this gap in the market. And so, what we've done with the VT6L is we've helped our customers um, and our partners, our integrators, uh, such as all you folks with TSIA, reduce your installation, your integration time, uh, your solution implementation. And this becomes a great solution uh, for applications that are on the simpler side and currently maybe done by hand, or um, it's just cost prohibitive for a, a traditional six axis robot like machine load, unload, assembly, packaging, et cetera. And so the value proposition that this unit has, and we'll get into some of the meat of, uh, of what this does in a few slides, but, but this offers you all great performance at a great price. And you're getting that ease of use, that reliability at an ultra low price point. It's simple. Simple is, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat it a couple times more, but it's, 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 it's the mantra of this. We wanted to make it simple. Um, the VT6L is, is simple to install, implement, manage. A lot simpler than what else is out there today. But with that, you're not conceding reliability. 
you're not you're you're not getting a uh, a low end model per se that you know is made with uh, bubble gum and duct tape. This is this is a reliable Epson industrial robot, and with that, you're getting the functionality that you would expect with our higher end models because you're able to use that Epson RC Plus environment, and so you can do a lot of really cool things with this. So it begins to open up the doors to uh, environments you can go into. So one of, one of the questions that, that we uh, you know got asked, uh, and certainly any product and any manufacturer will get asked the question, you know, when something comes out. So where where does this place, you know, where where does this fit best? And it's interesting now. This has been out for for a little while. We've uh, had the opportunity to 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 see where this has been placed, and frankly, it's it's where anyone needs a six-axis robot, and they've got simple applications, and that really transcends any market vertical. And so it's, it's really the perfect solution when you're in these particular environments and you're up against uh, those cost prohibitive, simple requirements, uh, needs, and you're looking for a six axis functionality. And so what you're able to do is go into, name your market, uh, when you need that six axis robot, and you now have the opportunity to reduce your upfront costs and reduce your overall ROI, your return on investment. And that's quite significant, um, particularly when you get into this easy arm and you get into simpler applications. So it's a big win for uh, certainly our partners. It's a big win for uh, our customers that work with us. I've mentioned simple a few, a few times and um, I, I want to talk a little bit about that when we talk about applications. Um, this is focused on, on simple applications. And one of the important questions that, you know, we, when we talk to customers, when we talk to partners, uh, whether it's our distributors or integrators uh, or end users, et cetera, is do you need the, um, the precision? Do you need the higher end uh, performance of, say, um, you know, a, a traditional six axis robot? And are you willing to pay the price for it? And if your answer is yes, that's totally cool. There, and there's a ton of applications that need that. And we've got a lineup for you with our C-series robots that fit at the higher end of the spectrum. But if your answer is no, then the VT6L begins to really address that market need, that I need something that's more cost effective, that helps me address those simpler applications. And that is where the VT6L has a great place. And so it's really ideal for machine load, unload, uh, packaging, assembly. Um, it's, it gives you the performance that you need with an industrial robot with the price point that is beginning to address those that gap in that market that you may not have been able to go after before. Um, think injection molding, for example, load, unload applications with uh, injection molding machines where profit margins are very tight. Um, and you're typically using a slide because that works best in that environment and it's cost effective, but you need a bit more dexterity. Maybe you wanna do more with it. You wanna take the part out, you wanna inspect it, you wanna move it around, drop it someplace. I need a six axis for that, but my profit margin on those parts is very light. And so I want to keep my capital costs down. And so I take a look at six axis. I don't see something that really fits that need. Now you've got a solution that, that comes in and can help you address that market requirement. So taking a look at differences between our C series and our VT6L, this comes back to the point I made earlier about asking yourself that question about what you need. Do I need the higher end or Maybe I don't, right? And now you've, when, you make, when you come to that decision point, you have an option. You have an option to fall back on with the VT6L. And frankly, not just fall back on, but really open up an area that maybe you would have completely bypassed or um, neglected because there wasn't a solution available for you. Now you have that VT6L at that simple, low precision uh, application environment. And there's a lot of these applications. We see them all the time and people are really intrigued by what they can do with, with this particular robot. 
So some of the key features that uh, come with the VT6L, and I'm not going to go through all these in, in uh, any detail, but the biggest one that we have here that uh, I do want to highlight, and I'll talk a little bit about it in subsequent slides, is the all-in-one aspect of, of this robot. Um, all-in-one is a term that we use to describe an integrated controller into the base of the robot. Um, and it's pretty unique to have that. Typically, the controller is uh, a separate unit that sits someplace else, about the size of a desktop PC. And it takes up valuable space. Uh, you've got to find a, a location for it. You've got to get all the wiring right. You've got to get it all set up, et cetera. Um, it's a separate unit that controls the robot. And here, it's built into the base. And so from a foot, overall footprint perspective, very valuable, very valuable and very simple. Very simple because you don't have to do all that connecting and wiring. It's all done. It's right there. Um, it also works with 110 volt and 220 voltage. And so similar to our T-series all-in-one on the Scara side, um, this all-in-one is just, you can plug it into a wall outlet and you're up and running. And so makes it easy to implement. So here's a picture of what the VT6L uh, looks like uh, and some of the uh, core features that, that come with the unit. Uh, I talked about the all-in-one aspect. Uh, so you've got your controller at the base there. And so that's got your amplifier, your CPU, uh, all your IOs, everything's just right in the back of the unit right there. And we'll show a picture of that in, in the next slide. Um, you've got that small footprint aspect. So with the slimline design, one of the other things that you have uh, with the VT6L are uh, camera uh, mounting brackets. Uh, up on the top wrist there. And all of our robots at Epson actually have those. Many applications do require vision of some sort. And so this does make it very easy to implement that. The VT6L is, is no exception to uh, its integration uh, capabilities, uh, both hardware as well as on the software side with, with vision. Uh, the back panel, and again, this is on the unit. So this is not a separate controller. This is actually on the back of the all-in-one unit. You've got all your IOs, you've got your uh, LED lights, status, uh, LAN, etc. So you can integrate with the unit, make it very simple, uh, very easy access, just like our T-series on the SCARA side or all-in-one on the SCARA side. So this is the T-series counterpart on the six-axis side. From a cabling configuration perspective, what we've done with this uh, to keep costs down is we've actually created external cabling. Uh, so our C-Series robot has internal cabling, uh, keeps that cable inside. Here you've got it on the outside and that allows you functionality of uh, vari variances. You can move the cables around in different uh, configurations and based upon those configurations that you have, uh, we do have optional mounting plates to, uh, to help hold those cables back but it makes it very simple from a routing perspective and very simple from a implementation perspective in getting this unit set up. One of the other neat features about this robot is that uh, this has a hollow end of arm design. And so this makes it easy to route pneumatic and electrical lines to your end of arm tooling. And so anyone that I'm sure on this call there's a lot of them, uh, folks that have worked with six-axis robots. And in order to implement a six-axis design, you typically have to have a cable loop uh, that allows the wrist to have its full range of motion and not yank and pull on that line. Uh, with this hollowed out design, you just stick the cables through and you don't have to deal with, with that cable loop. So it makes it very simple to implement, very simple to get it set up. Uh, I mentioned a few slides earlier, uh, there's one SKU. There's one SKU that we've got with, the, with this robot um, and multiple configurations with that one SKU. So tabletop, ceiling, wall mount, just go into Epson RC+, RC Plus, make the change. Simple and easy. So we've mentioned that the VT6L uh, is, an infor is an affordable, easy to use robot for simple applications, but Simple doesn't need to mean, and it doesn't mean here, that you don't have the options and the industrial functionality that you expect uh, from a robot in this class. 
VT6L is, is feature packed. And we've discussed in the prior slides all the things you get with this robot. Uh, one of the things that additional things that you get with, with uh, the VT6L is that you have uh, a whole suite of options that are available for whatever environment that you're going into. Uh, two that I really want to point out here are vision and flexible feeding. So as I mentioned earlier, a lot of applications do require vision. Uh, so you've got that um, you've got that bracket at the on the wrist, so you can mount mount your camera. Uh, that's hardware side, uh, but we also have integrated vision. And by integrated, I mean it's integrated into uh, the RC Plus operating and development environment. And so we've taken a lot of the legwork out of getting things set up for you where the camera, the vision system, the robot, the development environment are all integrated. And so you're not having to configure and get everything like talking to one another. We've done that hard work for you. And so from an easy aspect, you can get up and running quickly with the VT6L. Same thing with parts feeding. Um, we've got a, a number of webinars where we've talked about um, IntelliFlex, that's our parts feeding solution where we've taken a parts feeder and we've, we've integrated in with RC Plus and the robot um, and our vision system. So you don't have to make all these things talk. We've done all that work for you. So you can get up and running and focus on what's important to you, your application, your customers. And this robot uh, has that capability for those environments. Uh, if you need a bit more, we've got additional software options. Uh, so you've got a GUI builder, an API, uh, other features, OCR, uh, things of that nature that can be built into this as well as field buzz options and teach pendants if you need uh, remote operation of the unit. Best of all, all these things come together at a price tag of $13,900. Really unheard of in the six axis space. A lot of functionality, a lot of capabilities. Think of the options and the opportunities that you have now taking in an industrial robot with industrial speeds and industrial performance and the capabilities of the Epson RC Plus environment and options, put that together at this price tag, you can begin to open up doors that maybe you weren't able to go after before, new opportunities. One other thing I wanna mention here uh, is that there also with this is a clean room ISO 4 and a protected IP67 version available. So there are options beyond just the base robot there for those environments where you need uh, that type of capability at a low price point. So one of the uh, items I, I brought up several times is RC Plus, so our development software environment. And I really wanna underline this uh, for, for everyone on the call uh, that RC Plus is uh, our Epson software, software development environment, excuse me, that works with uh, not only the VT6L, but all of the robots across our line. And so there's not one singular software for this easy uh, VT6L all-in-one. This works with the environment that controls all of our robots. And so it makes it really simple to implement. Uh, RC Plus has been consistently rated by our customers as number one for ease of use. Um, just simple to get up and running, uh, simple to program, simple to operate the unit. A uh, few things to point out about this that, that, are, that are really important for particularly uh, integrators on this call is that it's a simple environment that allows for your quick configuration and setup of the robot. And so you're not spending a lot of time getting things plugged up, et cetera. You've got, for example, those integrated options I spoke about. So the vision guide, IntelliFlex, all those things are already built into the RC Plus environment. So you're not having to make things talk to one another. Makes it, makes it quite easy to get up and running. You've got over 500 commands and statements available to you. Allows you to easily design and optimize your system. You also get with this a built-in 3D simulator, and this helps you fine tune your application before the hardware is all set up. Best of all, you get all of this with RC Plus, all these features, and it comes included with the robot purchase. So there's no separate cost for this. This comes with the robot when you, when you purchase the VT6L or any of our other Epson robots. So feature packed, 
it's easy, simple, and affordable. One of the questions that, that we, we, we get asked, uh, particularly on the VT6L, uh, is whether or not this is a collaborative robot. You know, we talk a lot about easy. Is it collaborative? You know, because a lot of people are very intrigued um, with collaboratives because of their ease of use, because they're, they're easy to use. And that's really uh, opened people's eyes to this easy environment. But people do get concerned about the throughput, you know, so it's easy. Um, and it's safe, but it's like, am I getting the throughput that I need out of this? And I've spent money for this, it becomes expensive. And so first off, the VT6L is not a collaborative robot. It's just easy, it's just easy. So a few things I wanna mention about this particular topic. The first is cost. And so while it's not collaborative, you're saving up to 60% on this particular robot versus comparable collaborative robots. And so even when you implement safe guarding, and we'll talk about that in a second, you put this all together for your particular environment to get the throughput and the performance that you need, you still have an extremely competitive ROI of your, of your whole system. It begins to open up opportunities for you. Second is applications. So as I mentioned, many customers are intrigued by collaboratives because of the ease of use aspect of them, but throughput is a concern. And so when you need fast cycle times, this is a great robot to look at because you're getting that performance. You're getting the performance that you need. You've also got the IP67 and the clean room options. And so you can you know, be in wash down mode, you can be plugged into a 110 volt outlet. It makes it very flexible and efficient in a whole variety of applications and environments. Last, safety. So as most of you know, collaboratives are, are not necessarily safe out of the box. You've got, uh, you need to run a risk assessment. You need to look at your entire cell, everything that's set up holistically is this environment safe. And often you find that, you know, I've got my grippers and pinch points and other things uh, that get built into this and I end up to get throughput and performance that I need. I've got safety fences, light curtains, et cetera. Well, now you're looking at a, at a pretty high price point. And the question becomes, is it worth it? Now, maybe for your application it is. But for many, I've given up something for that. And so now I'm able to come in with a very affordable six axis. I'm having to build that stuff anyways. I can now have a safe environment as I build that up with my risk assessment but I've lowered my capital costs and my ROI with the robot aspect. And so this opens up opportunities for you. So important to look at all aspects of what you're building. And key to this particular topic, easy is our mantra. You're getting the ease of use with the VT6L, but you're getting that industrial performance that you need at an affordable price point. So what's in the box? What do you get? Well, the VT6L, uh, you get the robot, the all-in-one robot. So again, that comes with the built-in controller. Uh, so one unit. Uh, you get your power cable, uh, plugs are not included. Uh, so you gotta put a plug on that. You know, there's a whole variety of plugs that are out there. So you just uh, get the cables connected and put the plug on. Uh, you get the Epson RC Plus in, uh, environment. Uh, so you get a DVD. Uh, there are other ways to get that as well, but uh, you get the DVD. Uh, you'll get an emergency stop with the cable uh, for your safe environment. Uh, you'll get a VT6L robot uh, system safety and installation manual, uh, also available online. You'll get a setup guide, and then you'll get your connector set. So your IOs, your hand IOs, safety circuit connectors, et cetera. So great option, great affordable price point. And where that wraps into is that Epson's now has this complete all-in-one lineup for this easy, simple application space. So whether you're on the six axis side and I need that higher dexterity, more complex motion environment, but I'm still in that simple space and I like that easy aspect, or I need something that's super fast, point A to point B, moving parts around, we've got the Scara option for you with our T-Series robots. So the T-Series comes starting at $74.95, six axis starting at 
So it gives you that ultra low price point, quick installation, uh, fast, easy integration. You've got the built-in controller, uh, compact footprint, and uh, you've got flexibility with how you run cabling and how you set up your powering, whether it's 110 volt, 220, et cetera. All of this comes with that RC Plus environment uh, with the 3D simulator. So when you think about expanding your business and you're looking at spaces where a six axis would be optimal, but you haven't found the right product, think about the VT6.0. And hopefully that helps uh, open your eyes and, and give you some information uh, to take a look at as you look at expanding your market and working with your customers on providing a, a, a solution in that space. So I want to thank everyone for the time. Uh, thank everyone for listening, especially after a long Labor Day weekend. I uh, hope this was useful and um, open it up for questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. So it looks like we have some here. Uh, let's start at the beginning. Is the VT6L UL certified? Uh, it's CE certified, yes. Um, it is not UL certified uh, for uh, cost considerations. So, um, no, good, good question. But no, not UL certified. All right. Are there multiple SKUs for different mounting configurations? Uh, no, no, there's, um, there's only one SKU and we've done that for that simple, um, that simple aspect to this. Um, but if you do need to change, I think I mentioned a couple times, um, if you do need to change configuration, so, uh, ceiling, wall, tabletop, uh, you can go into the Epson RC plus, uh, development environment and you can make those changes pretty quickly. All right, and can the VT6L do force guidance and conveyor tracking? So the VT6L cannot handle force guidance. Uh, so if you do need force guidance, and that would be environments where you just need that elevated precision, um, you know, putting microchips on a board, et cetera, uh, that would be for uh, that would be a target for our C series, our higher end models that do accommodate force. Uh, this can handle con index conveyor tracking, uh, but not traditional conveyor tracking as well. So if you do need the conveyor tracking option, then that would be a C series option as well. And we do have uh, do have models that would fit better for our customers to need that. Okay. Uh, this is asking for clarification. Is the VT6L a collaborative robot? Uh, it is not, uh, and that, and that, and I'm, I'm glad that was asked. Um, no, it's 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 not a collaborative robot. Um, but what it's what it's doing is it's uh, leveraging the intrigue that customers have with collaboratives with respect to easy. They like the ease of use. Uh, you get a lot of new entrants into automation and we're seeing more and more uh, that have been on the sidelines. Uh, maybe they've been small, medium-sized businesses and they're trying to figure out, you know, gosh, I want to get into automation, but it's cost prohibitive. It's complex. I don't know how to get started. This begins to open up doors and people have been intrigued with, with collaboratives, frankly, because they are easy. Um, you know, it's easy to get them set up. This really leverages on that, that ease of use aspect. Um, but as you need more, you've got that RC plus environment. So you're, you can build up more, more complexity, but it comes with that price point. It comes with that price point that, that's very uh, attractive and gives you that ease of use aspect. Um, if you need all the safety, et cetera, and that, you know, every uh, installation has a risk as assessment associated with it. Um, this integrates in with all of that. So uh, you get that throughput, you get that performance, uh, but you get that easy use, ease of use with the cost um, affordability of the VT6L, which makes it a very attractive uh, robot to take a look at in that space. But no, good, good question. I'm glad uh, someone asked to, to clarify that. And move down here. What is the difference between the VT and T series? Uh, yeah, no, I, I that, that that that's another good one because I mentioned the T series a few times, and I'm sure it's confusing for people that maybe haven't seen the T series before. Um, so, we have both Scara and six-axis robots, 
And on the SCARA side, uh, the T-Series is our all-in-one robot. So our all-in-one, kind of like what you see on the screen here. So the all-in-one, easy to use uh, robot for SCARA. If I need a six axis option, the VT6L is the uh, analog to the T-Series on the six axis side. So both use that RC plus uh, operating or development environment and both are all in one. So they both have the built-in controller and both are at a very attractive price point uh, for simple applications or new entrants that are coming into the market. Thank you, Scott. Um, are clean, clean room models available? Yes. Yes, and actually um, there was, if I can go back a few slides, there is, oops, sorry about that. Important to point that out. Uh, there is Clearm ISO 4, and there is a protected IP67 that is available. So both standard environments and cleaner environments are available uh, for, uh, for customers. All right, and can a user manually move the arm on the VT6L? So we talked a, a little bit about that this is uh, not a collaborative robot. Um, you know, it, it competes very well against collaboratives for simple applications. Um, you can move uh, the arm um, for teaching on the C-Series with a force sensor. Uh, but you can't do it with VT6L. Uh, but that's, that said, uh, you can jog uh, the unit very simply, um, either through the RC Plus interface or through the teach pendants that, that are available on the unit. All right, and the next one is, do you need the teach pendant or can you use a computer? Uh, you don't need the teach pendant. Uh, so it's not, uh, not critical to have it. Um, in, in fact, most of our customers don't use a teach pendant because RC Plus is just so simple. Uh, it's got a really nice user interface. A lot of time was spent developing that, uh, but you can use one if you want. That that is uh, available to you, as shown on the screen here. Actually, we we came back to it. So the TP2 and TP3 are available. All right, and last one here: Are there dwelling holes, doweling holes at the end of the VT6L tools for tooling? Yeah, yeah. There's 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 holes at the um, at the end of the arm uh, for camera mounting. Uh, so if you uh, want to add something uh, to the end of the flange, uh, just like our C-Series, uh, you do have that, that capability. So um, one interesting point I, I mentioned a little bit earlier is that you do have that hollow um, wrist so you can run the cabling through. So it does make it really attractive from a cable management perspective. Also, you don't need to have the, uh, the cable loops uh, to accommodate wrist motion. Um, and then once you get the cabling through, you've got those mounts right there at the end of the arm. So you can put on a, a vision system, et cetera. All right, thank you, Scott. Well, with that, that will be the end of the webinar. I hope you found the webinar informational. And I would like to thank Scott for this informative discussion and all of those attending. Um, this webinar will be available for viewing Probably by the, in a couple of days, I'll have that up there, definitely by the end of the week. And please be sure to check out our online events calendar. Once again, thank you, Scott, and thank you all. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Colin. All right, thank you.